Hey everybody, my name is Jim Perry and I am out metal detecting at a favorite park of mine. So I'm slowly making my way kind of up a trail that I have run and played on since I was a small child and lots and lots of bottle tops, lots and lots of pull tabs, um, quite a bit of trash. I'm used to that. There's a lot of ammunition that I can find here as well. Um, finally hit uh, what was a very strong, clean, repeatable signal uh, in the high 70s, low 80s. Um, and I just pulled the plug out and I wanted to take a look at it together to see what it might be. I am seeing something very, very silver. So not more than maybe, I don't know, two or three inches down. Right here, this just came out. Not exactly sure what it is, but thought we'd take a quick peek together just in case it is very silver and round. Have any water with me right now, so I'm gonna be very careful. This is silver. Oh my gosh, it's another mercury dime. I do not believe this. Um, let me carefully wipe this down and uh, we'll take a better look at it together. So you can see two actual potential signals here one being the beer bottle top right here, and then the other being the mercury dime that I just pulled. Uh, this is um, a little bit more rare than the others I've found. This is a 1927D, so minted in Denver. There were uh, 4,800,000 or so of this particular coin minted. I am extremely thrilled to take that home with me today if it will stay in my hand um great great coin well, take a little bit more time and go up and down this trail that i just i thought for sure there'd be nothing but trash today and i was fine with that but i'm thrilled to go home with this today Looks like I got a friend here who was curious. Didn't get my camera out in time. She walked straight up the trail here to within about 25 feet of me watching what I was doing here. And then just a little ways up the trail, I'm going to be turning around here. I don't have a whole lot of time today. Uh, crazy signal back and forth. Uh, I have no idea how this might be. I already scraped it off quite a bit of the dirt. I don't see any words in the back, um, but I'm afraid of damaging it. Um, it appears to be an aluminum comb. If anyone knows how old that might be or would have more information about it, I would really appreciate it. Um, this will clean up and look great uh, once it is kind of shined up. So um, these are really the most significant finds today. I'm always finding shotgun shells everywhere. I'll have to get home and clean these up a bit, see how they really are. Um, I'm not gonna show you all of the beer bottle tops. Uh, I pulled dozens of them out of the ground. Um, also need to do some research on, uh, I'm assuming this is the brand name, aluminum comb. And then find of the day, 1927 D Mercury Dime. Very excited about that one and grateful for that today. Uh, time to head to home and get on with the rest of my day. So I was here just about an hour and like I said I've got some other things to get on to today so um, now I've got a little research to do as well to find out more about that comb. Uh, interesting uh, piece today. Uh, very unexpected. Uh, this trail has been used for years and years. Um, and aside from all of the bottle caps, I know that there are other treasures to be found right along this trail, maybe even right on it. Um, the thing is, every item found has a story to tell. Sometimes it just takes a little digging to figure out what that story is. As always, thanks for joining me again today. I hope to see you soon.